Every single woman is coming to sell us something. So be ready to bark. How much? Welcome to beautiful Maasai Mara, Kenya. This world-renowned game reserve in southwestern Kenya is one of the best places in the world to go on safari. It's home to a wide array of wildlife, including the big five, lions, leopards, rhinos, elephants, and buffalo, as well as countless other incredible species. But Maasai Mara is not only a haven for wildlife enthusiasts, it's also a place of cultural significance. Maasai Mara is home to the Maasai people, who have lived in harmony with nature for centuries. Despite the modernization of the world around them, the Maasai continue to live traditionally, with very few changes over the centuries. In this video, my guys at Kumbu Kumbu Tours and I will take you on an epic journey through Maasai Mara, exploring its stunning landscapes and experiencing thrilling wildlife sightings. Get ready for an unforgettable safari adventure in Maasai Mara, Kenya. Let's go. Sadisana, Sadisana. Thank you so much. Thank you so welcome, much. Welcome. All right, guys, we are here at the Old Dar Poi Mara Camp in the Maasai Mara Game Reserve. Jumbo. Yeah, welcome. Karibu, Karibu, right? Welcome. Yeah. yeah. Amazing, amazing. So, guys, this is the camp that we're going to stay at for the next 24 hours. I'm going to take you on an epic Kenyan safari experience. What is that like? Well, it's very relaxing, right? They have seven tented camps, yeah. and here they have a pool, and you have many different activities, right? So, you can go walking, you can go on a game drive, you can go in the pool, and it's super relaxing, right? Yeah. And the welcome, Maasai Maran, Maasai jumping. Maasai. Jumping? Yeah. I can't wait, I can't wait, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. So let's go see the, the tent. Yeah. So it's like a boutique experience. You come, you relax. Every single day, two game drives, right? So you have a morning game drive, you have breakfast, you relax during the day at the pool. Then after that, you go back on a game drive. You have like a sundowner, little, you know, some wine out there. Yeah. And then another game drive. Yeah. You see the beautiful wildlife. Tea, Here, coffee, and snacks. Tea, coffee, and snacks. And they have all types of animals lions leopards buffalo what else we have rhinos so all big five hyenas, elephant yeah. hyenas even tonight you'll hear the roaring of lions while you're sleeping in your tent no way yeah ah. that's exciting <laughs> yeah, sure. i can't wait man i can't wait this is one of my favorite things about africa by the way sure, sure. welcome to our tent our tent is self-contained with hot and cold shower for the hot shower is very hot mm -hmm. so welcome and enjoy the stay with us Perfect. This is yeah, my tent. Yeah, this is your tent. Are you serious? Your home away from your home. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Show me this place. So how how big is it? Whoa. So I have all that too. Yep. Yeah. We have. Uh, it's a family tent. Family tent. So you come with your with your yeah, family. No, no, no. Perfect. So I can have my kids here. Yeah. A little relaxing area. Yeah. We have a terrace. Yeah. We can close this or so yeah. separate us, right? Sure. Sure. Over here we can put our clothes. Yeah, you know. Over here. Mm hmm so hang it close and this is the bathroom so this is called a bush bathroom wow look at this and you also close it as well right that's well. why we have a light switch over here what? And yeah with a very hot and cold shower cold okay. shower yeah yeah so enjoy your stay Hey, my man, thank you welcome, so much. Welcome, thank you, welcome, thank you. Welcome. So we got here a little late. Today, we literally flew from Mombasa to Nairobi, drove five and a half hours out here. And right now, it's, uh, it's like 3.15. We have to go right now straight to the game reserve. So it's a little um, different, right? You have to go from here to the game reserve, yeah. and there, there's an entrance fee. And over here, you can see the game reserve, right? And once we enter the game reserve, we're going to see lions. Only five-minute drive. Yeah, yeah. So that's the great thing about this camp. It's super close to the game reserve. Some camps are like an hour out. So it really depends on the hotel or the private camp. Yeah. This is it. We're ready? Yeah. You guys ready, ready to see some animals? Yeah. Let's go. All right, Sam. Hey, oh, bad. We're ready to go? Get in, get in. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Oh, this is the best, bro. Just stand right here the whole time. Yeah. And that's my room right there. My tent. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. So again, the game reserve is only a five minute drive from here. That's the gate, right? And at the yeah. gate, it costs uh, 60 per person. Yes, 80 per person. 80, 80 USD per, per person. person, got it. That's 24 uh, hours in the game, uh, game. So 24 hours, so that covers us for this game drive and tomorrow morning's game drive. So and then in the nighttime, we'll do the conservatory, which is their like little reserve, right? Where there are also cheetahs and other wildlife. The Maasai, mostly they, uh, they group themselves according to the clans. Clans are big families. I mean, let's say it's just a, a father and his kids. And the kids have their, their wives and maybe five wives by, by kids and they make a big village. As you can see, like all over the place, you'll see different areas 
different Maasai, but that's just the clan. One tribe, different clans, and uh, I'll tell you, every single woman is coming to sell us something, so be ready to bargain. Maria, take photo. So we're here at the entrance, and I have my friend Maria right here. Anna. Anna. Yeah, baby. Baby Anna? Yeah. Mama okay. Maria. Maria? Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Here it costs uh, 80 US dollars for non resident adults. Uh, and that says, yeah, so that's what it costs, right? 80 US dollars. Yeah. And right outside, we have a lot of the Masa tribe. They're selling different things. So this lady has like things for sale, lots of things. Look at that. Yeah. It's amazing. Look at that. Yeah. Ready? Yes, I need it. And uh, these, these, these women, they are so aggressive. They sell you by force. <laughs> oh my God, I wasn't ready either, guys. I wasn't ready. This is the main gate. We call it a uh, Sekenani gate. We have like uh, six gates around the park. And the park is a 1,500 square kilometer. So driver Kennedy, he knows how to spot animals, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Let's enter. Yes. Akuna Matata. Wow. Ain't no passing grace. I don't know it in English, but I know it in Greek. Well, this is amazing. So I didn't know, but lion in Swahili is Simba. Rafiki. It's, it's friend. It's amazing. Yeah. And another thing I got to tell you guys is that Masamara is on the border with Tanzania. And on the other side is the Serengeti. Yeah. It's amazing. Now, like quoting Lion King is us being straight up Muzungus. Muzungus. No, dude. <laughs> it's amazing, it's amazing. Over here we have female Impala. Super small, right? Yeah, super cool. Yeah. Super beautiful. The males stay separately. The males, they have horns. And that group of the males, we call it a bachelor group. So this group of the females is controlled by one male. And he's in front, right? Yeah, but it's the back one. The one with the big horns. Do you see? It? Oh, in the back. Yeah, right. And here is our first giraffe. Look at that giraffe here. And then over there we have a, uh, like a group of buffalo. Big five, big five right there. So they, they don't get scared, right? Uh, for, the, for this one, they're used to the, to the vehicles. Yeah. Because they see the vehicles here every inside day. the park each and every day. Yeah. yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, of course. So that's one of the main rules here. You can never get out of the vehicle, never in the park. There's, there's many giraffes. I see four now. So what do you call a, a group of giraffes? You tell me. Tower. Uh, we call it a tower of giraffes. A tower of giraffes? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. So yeah. Tower of Giraffes. Basically they stand as towers yes, in, so in Dubai, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh look, look, look. You see these two guys here? Yeah. Males. Males, sometimes they walk alone, but most of the time they stay in a big group. From my understanding, this is the most dangerous of the big five because yeah. if you get out, it could easily kill you. They get startled, right? Yeah. They get startled. Yeah, they kill you? Yeah. I mean they get scared. Damn. So this is called the Bachelor Group. Only male impalas. Great. I love this actually, this opening like this. So that little one over there is called a Tomzong Gazelle. Yeah, Tomzong Gazelle. Tomzong Gazelle. Yeah. Guys, look at this, a hyena right here. Incredible. Oh, look at him, look at him. He's running, he's running. Find an animal which is sick, maybe an alone animal, they can try and chase it out. But most of the time, they scavenge. They even chase away cheetahs to take away their meal. They even chase away lions to take away their meal. So. Heart beast. Heart beast because the, his an antlers are um, in the shape of a heart, right? You see the shape of the horns? Yeah. yeah. So what is that? So that's a kind of antelope. It's called topi. Super dark, you know, face and like brown uh, core. This is called an open savanna. In South Africa, it's more bush, right? So everywhere you look, it's bushy. So you see animals just hiding right there and you can't see them here. It's open land. So you can see animals for the far distance, right? A it's, a, it's a type of goose from Egypt. So guys, look, this is an Egyptian goose. So they migrate from Egypt. Very beautiful goose, huh? Yeah. I, I saw something move in the water. Can it be a croc in this area? No, right? No. 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 Look at this, the landscape like changed, right? This is way more open land. You can see everything from here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So there's, uh, there's like 14 different um, lodges inside the reserve. So as you can see, some of them have the, the names of the lodges on the vehicles. It's beautiful. Right now we're just going, looking, right? This is the thing with uh, with the animals. It's like hit or miss, but we're gonna always.
was hit. We're gonna find something. So these guys, they don't do a lot. Yeah, just... and a lion is male, lioness, female, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, lioness, and they're the ones that always feed them. They're, they're the hunters, right? That's cool. The, the male comes at the end to, to finish off the yeah. kill, basically. Oh, wow. So we've been waiting here for like 10 minutes. So you see lots of vehicles coming. Obviously, they see all the vehicles, so they go wherever the vehicles are and they see what they see, right? But the lion it was just hanging out. Now he like stood up, nah, like sat up a little bit so we could see him. See his mane, nice and dark. So you were saying this is like an older lion, right? Because it's like a darker mane. He really is breathtaking, man. It's 6 p.m. We just went around the line a few times to get some photos. This is like the best experience. That's so crazy. It's I was so excited. So excited. This made the day right here. This is it. 12 hours of travel, totally worth it. Man. Yeah, for sure. Wow. For sure. <laughs> I think let's move to the gate. Yeah. Let's, go, let's, let's go. go. Let's go to the gate. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going to do now is we're going to go all the way back to the gate. On the way, we'll stop. We'll have a quick sundowner. We did get our beer with us, so we can do that. And then after that, we're going to go for dinner at the lodge. Tomorrow morning, wake up really early, 5.30 in the morning, head back out here, and we're going to stop um, by the river. And there we'll be able to see hippos and crocs, and hopefully we'll see some elephant and more wildlife, right? Right here? Let's do it. Oh, by the street, bro. Let's go. Three minutes? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, bring the beer, bring the beer. And this is the beer of the country, right? Yes, let's go. Tusker beer. It's actually my first time trying it. Ooh. Ooh. The beer of the country, Cheers right? To the ones. To the ones that we love. Hey, we're blessed. We're here, right? Mm. It's not bad. Yeah, it's good. good. It's a lager, right? Yeah, lager. Since 1922. Tusker beer. Obviously the tusk of the elephant, right? If not today, maybe tomorrow. So we're only taking like three minutes, drink our beer, enjoy the sunset. Unfortunately, it's very overcast, right? Very yeah. cloudy. Oh my man. Because we, you're happy. We saw some what? Happy because you're happy. No, no, my kids are gonna love this. I'm gonna send them the video right now. They're gonna love it. It's a problem free. Let's go back to the lodge. Let's go eat, right? Can't wait, can't wait. I'm so hungry. Dinner, let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to dinner. Old dar boy. Can't wait. And here we go. Dinner is buffet style. Dinner menu, celery soup, tomato rice, trio vegetables, chana dal, potato chips, grilled chicken, roast lamb. Oh, can't wait. So we're gonna go with some soup, right? And a little bread on the side. Oh yeah, this is gonna be delicious celery soup. Okay, so you said this is rice. I'm getting everything. Literally, I'm trying everything tonight. How about you guys? Everybody hungry tonight? No, we, we had a long day. Today was like the longest day of all time. Oh, we came from Mombasa. To be honest, I, I haven't done a trip like that in a while. Coming from flying super early in the morning and then driving for six hours, you know? Well, this is nice vegetables, right? Steamed. And then over here we have this corn. Oh, chana dal, chana dal, perfect. This is gonna be the ultimate 24 hour experience. Roasted lamb. Roasted lamb. Call my name with this one. I'm gonna get two pieces. Which is better? Like, all, I like the little pieces, right? The softer pieces, like that. And the side way, I'm gonna eat it with hands, man. Like that. And then next to it is what? Chicken. Chicken. Right there. Maybe one more tiny piece. Gravy. Nice gravy. gravy. Perfect. Yeah, so right here we have chocolate, and this is for the cake. Look. Nice, thick chocolate. Okay, I'm ready to eat. Let's see, guys. My man, Sam, ready to eat, bro. I'm super, super ready. Oh, but you ready? I'm very ready. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. It's amazing soup. I love it. It's super easy. You know, after a long day, you know, buffet style. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's very nice. Mm. I'll throw some pepper in here. Ooh, maybe too much, too much huh? Yeah, maybe too much. <laughs> that thing came out fast. <laughs> no, pepper always spices it up, right? A little spice. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Delicious, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's good. 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 Yeah, it's good.
And what I love about this is that every single thing here came from right here, right? He said this came from the garden, the lamp in the area. I'm jumping on the lamp first. I think it's the first time in like six days I use a fork. Looks nice, some rice. Oh man, that rice. That's some moist. And this is chicken, right? And I put some like gravy on it. Mm, so fresh, so tasty. It's like sweet vegetables. Cucumber, broccoli. I'll see you in the morning. I'm gonna enjoy a beer with my friend here. Whoa. That was a nice surprise, right? Incredible. The Maasai tribe performed for us. The jumping, the dancing, everything. How are you guys doing? Good? Good, good. Right? Good. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, it's bedtime, guys. It's bedtime. Let's go. So, 6 a.m., right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Good night. Good night. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Guys, it's almost 7 a.m. We have to get out of here. My friend, we'll see you now. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Game drive. Sam, you ready? In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps to die. Mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. All right, here we go. What's this? How many? Today we start with the impalas, pumba, zebras. Where's Pumba? Pumba is down here. Oh, there's Pumba, right there, Pumba. That's Pumba. Pumba is down here. And the reason Pumba is called Pumba is because Pumba means uh, stupid in Swahili. You know, it's easy prey for the lions because, you know, lions will, uh, you know, hunt them. And they start running, you know, for their lives, but then because they're kind of like stupid, they forget why they're running. So they kind of like stop running and they get eaten. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Our first elephant, guys, right here. That is an African elephant. Yeah. This is way bigger than the Asian elephant. <gasps> Look at the baby. Look at the baby. Top of Africa. The shape of the map of Africa. Yeah, try to look the shape of the ears. Yeah, yeah. It's not like the, the baby always with a... Always. Yeah. With, with, the, mother, with right? a mother, right? The mother. And this one is look like it's still under one ear because it can still under, pass under a mother. Yeah, so it's and like really young, right? Yeah, and so, also the elephants, they give a good protection for their young ones. It's very hard to find a lion killing a baby. No, they eat so much every day, right? Yeah. So much. The baby's so cute. He's so cute. So right here we have the amarula tree, also known as the sausage tree. This is one of the favorite fruits for elephants. It gets them a little drunk, right? That's why you can see the amarula bottle has an elephant on it. Here in Kenya, there's a tribe. What's the name of the tribe? Kikuyu. 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 Yes, yes. And they make an alcoholic beverage from it. And what's the name of the alcohol? Muratina. Muratina. Yes. So obviously it ferments and it's an alcoholic beverage. I'm sure it's really tasty, right? I mean, Amarulo is a very, very nice drink. I think we should try it. What do we got here? Anything here? 
well, you know, when you see a bunch of uh, cars gathering, there must be some animals, right? So what are we looking at? Something interesting, right? Like over there? No, I mean, I guess it's for the Stop right here. Look at this. So it's also called a herd of uh, buffalo, right? Her, a gang, a gang, yeah, a gang. Huge, I mean, I, I don't know. 500? It looks like 500. More than 500. Wow, I've never seen this. And what's amazing is that because it's open savanna, you can see for miles, right? So all over here, and they're saying there's a few lions in the area, so we're gonna see if we can spot them. Oh, but that's, that's more antelope, right? It's more antelope, and then over there, you really have to have an eye to be able to see here. You see, they have a U shape of horns. When the male, they have a W shape, and the front is bumped. Right there, we have a hyena. Oh, baby hyena over there. And then this guy right here. Topi. Topi. Yeah, they have like long arms, short legs to help them jump. They, they have the, like the fastest antelope. There's like five over there, bro. It's like five cars. There must be something going on there. Maybe the lions. Maybe, right? Yeah, one for the best. Maybe something. Yeah. Let's, go. Let's do it. Okay, so we spotted a lion. It's a lone male. I think it's the one from yesterday. Who knows, right? Very similar. Just in the middle. That was amazing. He was just roaring. Like, oh, oh. So cool. Oh. There he goes. Oh, he's injured. Damn, guys, he's injured. You see his leg, he's like limping. Poor guy. He had, a, he had a hard battle last night with the buffalo, I'm sure, or something. It's very sad to see that, but this is the wild, right? It takes no prisoners. So what he's doing now is he's under a bush because it's super hot, you know, sun. They hunt at night, during the day they sleep. Sleep like 20 hours a day, right? Yes. Something like that, some crazy number. Wow. Yeah, it's super sad, but he's so gorgeous. Look at his eyes. Well, guys, that was good. Yeah, that was really, really good. Yeah. Feel sad for the lion, but it's just the nature checks its own course, so. Let's hope we have veterinarians here. Let's hope. So over here we have a few different zebra, and this one she's pregnant. You can see her belly is huge. So we have a baby here. This, these are some youngs, and then right there, the pregnant mother. And then in the background we have some topis. Wow, so many of them, right? Like they're everywhere. And more zebra over here. So much fun. Can't get enough of it. So we sleep tonight here in the park. <laughs> right here we have a group of wildebeest. So if you guys have ever seen the Great Migration when they're in the Serengeti crossing the rivers, this is them, right? So they go from Serengeti up until Masamara, right? In June. Wow, beautiful animal. So you have a lot of small ones. Can you tell, how do you tell the difference besides seeing, like is there the ankler, like the horns and stuff? Is that different for female male or no? Both are the same. So only the private parts, right? Is where you tell the difference. Yeah, so they breed in, in June, right? Yo, why is Puma running, man? I don't know, I don't know. And then he's gonna stop, he's gonna stop. So here we have a, a warhawk and her, what is it, four young? Four young. And then he stops and then boom, the lion comes. <laughs> we have our second herd of elephants today. A group of elephants like this one, now we say herd of elephants, is controlled by uh, the oldest female or the grandmother. She's called a matriarch, the one on top. She controls everything, the movement, where to find water, where to find grass. So she is on top and she leads the rest of the herd. Yeah. Right here we have two cheetahs. As you can see, two males, their bellies are full. Relaxing in the shade. This is the fastest mammal on earth. It goes around 120 kilometers per hour in one single fast you know, sprint. So right here we have an ostrich. It's a male ostrich and it's the biggest bird on earth. And it doesn't fly. 
It, it only fly? it only runs. No. Ironic, huh? The biggest bird on earth that doesn't fly. Doesn't fly. It's still epic though. Casually chilling here, huh? Casually hanging out with the zebras. Over here, look at that. So many, they're surrounding us, huh? Yeah. It's endless. So like, crazy. It's like 200. It's crazy, like, I was just thinking, like, if, like, after two hours for us, it's getting, like, meh. Much like for the, our driver has been doing this 10 years. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like, unless he sees a kill. Ooh! Gita, he's just making his way through. The temperature has risen, like, 20 degrees, man. It's like, it got so hot. <laughs> <laughs> this morning was cold and now I'm like boiling. And way more flies. Too many animals. Too many animals. Too many animals. Here we have a bunch of hippopotamus down to the right and then we have a few crocs over here to the left. We'll find a spot for the crocodile. Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. Let's get closer to the hippos. So we really couldn't get close enough there. So we're going this way. Oh, I see hippos already right here in the river. Woo, going through the bush here. Oh, there's lots of hippos, lots of hippos. Look at them. Oh, that's a good, a good spot. I mean, if we move a little forward, they go here. So it's called a pod, right? Pod of hippos? School. School? Yeah. Oh, now you see them. Look at them, look at them right there. Look at them, look at all of them. So many. Wow, look at this tail, man. Huge. What, is he, what do you think, three meter? Yeah, and so what he's doing right now is he's basking in the sun. So if you guys don't know about reptiles, all reptiles are cold-blooded animals. So during the day, they bask in the sun and they absorb that for energy, right? and digestion all right guys i think we're done let's go for breakfast for lunch what am i thinking breakfast i haven't had breakfast so this is my my brunch all right so we just posted up under this tree some shade to have a box lunch i mean it's the open savannah so we're good are oh, you gonna set us up here bring that picnic lunch very easy so we got sandwich carbo egg and we got chicken right Oh, this is nice chicken, huh? Fried chicken? Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Good. Fresh or fresh? Super fresh. Obviously, a little ball in here. Who likes hard boiled egg? Well, I do. Like that. Crack it. Take off all the shells. Right there. I put the egg inside. I haven't had hard boiled eggs in a while. I had it a few times here on this trip. I actually enjoy it. Just need some salt and pepper, right? Let me put that in here. Make yourself a nice sandwich. It's like falling apart. The yolk. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You see the green trees down there on a line? Mm -hmm. There's a river down there. We call it a sand river. Sand river is a seasonal river. It's not a permanent river. And on the other side, the plain area, that's a Serengeti. Tanzania. Even the wild bees, some of them when they are coming to Kenya, they cross from this side. Not all of them are crossing through the Mara River. Some of them cross through the Sand River. We just entered no man's land. Basically over here, Masamara, Serengeti's over there, Borderstone, TZ, Tanzania, KE, Kenya. So what, like this right there? Yeah. I'm in both countries. Well, this is sort of no man's land, but it's good. Dude, epic, epic. So this is my 95th country over here. No, I'm joking, it doesn't count, it doesn't count. Let's go. And right here we have a rhinoceros. So which rhino is this, black do we know? Rhino. Black, rhino. black rhino. There it is, there it is, look at this. So right there we have a black rhino and unfortunately he's crossing into Tanzania. <laughs> Tanzania, Tanzania? Tanzania. Tanzania. It's very difficult to see a black rhino, very rare. White is more common. They were saying that they, they don't remember the last time they saw a black rhino. We found a pair of mating lions. Look at them. So close. Only 10 feet away from us. It's incredible. That's our 24 hour experience. I recommend you stay with all that boy. Great experience. Later when I get back, I'm gonna jump in the pool and relax. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Have you ever been to Masamara? What was your experience? And if you haven't, it's definitely one place you have to add to your bucket list. And I'll see you on the next adventure somewhere in this area of Masamara.